Today I'm going to follow these instructions, do a kind of a little how-to video on how to fill dents with Bondo. Featuring, of course, the 3D Machines Duramax. Will you take part in my life, my love, that is my dream. What's up, machine freaks? I hope you guys are enjoying your day. I hope you're feeling froggy fresh. I hope you're feeling super fly. Yesterday you saw that I started working on my truck. I want to repaint it. As you can see, I got some paint chipping. This is not good. This is a southern truck, so it's doing this on me. Uh, I hit a pole there, so that was all dented up, pulled some of that out. This dent's pretty bad if the camera will focus on it. There's an imperfection right there. So how I want to remove that is by taking this panel out and bashing it out. The reason why my hands are getting so dirty is because this truck was undercoated so they actually like took a spray gun and sprayed inside here because we're up north and uh, rust sucks. I want rust taking this thing hostage. I have about 90% of that dent out and surprisingly I didn't really push from the back. I actually hammered the high spots in and that actually corrected the dent which is awesome because I couldn't really get to anywhere behind the door, so it worked out good. So like I said in the previous videos, I am going to paint this whole side of the truck. So that includes the bed, the two doors, and then the front quarter panel. Instructions. Who needs instructions? Looks like the tail to an alien. I've never owned one of these things, but uh, I'm definitely gonna need it, so I bought one. Include the bag, but how did the heck does the bag work? The areas that we're going to focus on is this area, this area, that one, that one, and then there's two small dents right here that the camera might not even be able to pick up. All dents are the same to an extent. If they're too deep, then you have to do Bondo layers, but if they're nice and shallow, you could just take, you know, maybe one swipe of Bondo. I think all of mine are only gonna need like a layer or two, and what I mean by that is I'm just gonna go over it one time, sand it down, and then do it again. That's, I believe, all I'm gonna need. But before we can put the Bondo on, we gotta sand this stuff down to clean, shiny metal. You don't want no rust, you don't want no crust, and you don't want any paint. I made a super silly mistake. Don't make this silly mistake. Do not use a sander. Use a flap disc. You kill yourself if you use one of those things. I think it's that time of the year. It's becoming fall. Everybody's getting sick. I'm getting sick. Maybe that's why my brain isn't working. Or maybe I'm just stupid. I won't have much time to work with it, so I'll explain the process right now. That was kind of cool. This flew away on me. This is the hardener. You're going to mix small portions of this together, just enough to, to cover the spots that you're working on. It doesn't stay soft for very long, it, it hardens up quick, and if you take too long, then it won't apply correctly. I'll explain more once I apply it.
While this hardens up, I'm going to take off my quarter panel cover, wheel covered, these things. Hey, this is, this is unacceptable. You're filthy. You really gotta clean them between your crack. Now this is why trucks up here rust out, because you got salt and water and dirt, they collect up here, and then your quarter panels start rusting out without you, without you even knowing until it goes beyond the plastic. Not good. I wanna bring up two things right now. One, my uh, girlfriend's father recommended that I should paint these things the same color as my truck, but I kinda like the black and blue uh, thing I kinda got going on right now. Um, I got black tail lights. Soon I'll build a bumper, a black bumper. Um, obviously the tires are black and it's got tinted windows. That's why I kind of feel like going black. What do you guys think? Should I paint them blue? That's what the comment section is for. Next order of business. Why I'm painting my truck? Like I've gone so long without, you know, painting my truck. Why now? Well, I'll tell you why. There's something coming up. I want this thing to look good. I want to turn the Duramax into a beautiful machine again. But I'm going to keep the surprise a surprise you guys will see what that is, and I will mention it in the future. It's coming up pretty soon. I think it's like a month and a half or so. I mean, the Duramax is already running better. Let's make her look better. I had to bust up my big can that I've had for a long time. That little can wasn't enough. I've let this stuff sit for an hour. Now I'll sand it down using that disc. The sander that I originally used to try to sand it down to bare metal. Silly me. I'm going to show you the steps. So I have these all sanded down differently. As you can see, this is almost what we started with after I got done applying the Bondo. This has a little bit of sanding to it, but there's still, you know, a lot that needs to come off. This is getting closer to our final product. So I wanna show you guys how to do like small things like this. Usually you're only gonna have stuff like this. You're not really gonna hit a pole. Unless the pole gets in your blind spot and you're backing up and then it crunches your truck. Your heart skips a beat, you pee a little, you poop a little, and then uh, you realize, hey, I gotta spend a lot of money to fix this. So we're gonna open up the door. I sanded this down with my sander, but now I'm going to have to start using my hands. I literally just bought this thing. My local store didn't have it, so I had to drive like 30 minutes out of my way. But this is, it doesn't even say what, I'm going to say it's about 120. I'm gonna go up to a 320. I was always the best in kindergarten when it came to cutting out shapes and sizes. So this is my final product. Now when I run my hand across that, I can't feel anything. There's no difference. Primer usually covers anywhere from 180 grit to 320 grit, but there is virtually no dent there anymore. So as far as I'm concerned, this thing's ready for primer. But I have a lot of truck to do, so I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. If you want your vehicle looking better and you want some dents removed, use this, use the knowledge that I showed you. Enjoy your day, 3D Machines out. <laughs>